Assalamu alaikum. I am Asad Yusuf, senior medical physicist in Aar Khan University Hospital, Karachi. My topic is basic radiation protection for radiation oncology staff and trainees. This presentation is in the context of radiotherapy, which is widely known to be one of the safest area of modern medicine, but the potential exposure to very high doses as an accident. Presentation layout: objective of radiation protection terms and definition, understanding your workspace, principle of radiation protection, ALARA, radiation units, annual dose limits, protective measures, equipments, and tools. Objective of radiation protection. Application of radiation have become an integral part of life. Beside benefit, radiation also cause hazards. The standards are established to overcome the hazards of radiation. The aim of radiation protection is to obtain net benefit of the application of radiation against its hazard. Aim of radiation protection To control occupational exposure, unwanted medical exposure that is patient protection, public exposure, environmental exposure. Our main concern is occupational exposure and patient protection. Remember, the magnitude of occupational exposure in radiotherapy depends on the profession. Potential area of radiation hazard in RT, neck, brachytherapy, simulator. And these are the locations in our section. In radiation protection, there are certain terminologies used to define the areas control area and supervised area. The red marking is for control area. Here you can see the control area. And the blue is supervised area. Control area where there is a likelihood of receiving an effective dose greater than 6 millisievert in air. This requires shielding, access restrictions, interlocks where appropriate signs, protective equipments and monitoring, room ventilation system, typically 12 air changes per hour limit the build-up activity within the room. The staff to follow the written procedure. Supervised area. Area where calculated exposure rates through shielding barrier are likely to result in exposure of 1 millisievert per air. Principle of radiation protection. Awareness. What level of radiation are you dealing with? What are the limits? Annual dose limits. Whom to inform in emergency? And what's Principle of radiation protection. Justification of practice. Risk versus benefit. Optimization of protection by keeping exposure as low as reasonably achievable. Dose limits. Alara. Always keep radiation exposure as low as reasonably achievable. What are the ways to do it? Cardinal rule of radiation protection. Time, distance, shielding. Dose rate is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. To double the distance, one fourth will be the dose rate. Whereas for the time, dose rate is directly proportional to time. To reduce your time, Manage your time accordingly so that those rate will be lower for you. Shielding. Appropriate shielding according to the type of radiation. Now let's talk about radiation unit. Ronjan. Unit of exposure. Radiation producing the ionization in air by X-rays or gamma rays. Gray. This is what we use day in and day out. Unit of radiation dose, amount of energy absorbed in a given amount of material. Sievert, unit of equivalent dose, includes factor to account for different amount of damage caused by different type of radiation. For most radiation in medicine, one gray is equal to one sievert. In our department, we are dealing with photons and electron. Their factor is one. So, if the dose is one gray, then of course, it will be one sievert. For radiation safety, the radiation level are of order of fraction of millisievert. 
we live in the presence of radiation each day and here natural background which accounts about 1 millisievert per year and it vary around the globe medical procedures 1 millisievert per year to pit put 1 millisievert in perspective remember typical chest radiograph contributes 0 0.05 millisievert radiation also found on food sources here you can see the chart are there any defined limits for occupational worker dose limits these are the uh, these are the dose limits defined by ICRP 60 and there are also other uh, regulatory bodies who have defined uh, similar uh, annual dose limits so for the whole body radiation worker maximum is 50 millisievert in a single air whereas 20 millisievert average over five consecutive air for general public it's one millisievert lens of an eye again same general public 15 millisievert and this is for hand and feet and skin what about pregnant women remember the need for optimization still applies typical radiation level time to acquire 1 millisievert working at 1 meter from source under emergency in LENAC occupational that is on normal world working condition negligible fully protected bunker in emergency condition direct beam to get 1 millisievert only 0.2 second at 1 meter whereas in a scatter 3 minutes the same condition HDR again occupationally negligible fully protected room remote after loader but in emergency condition 1.3 minutes we will get 1 millisievert at 1 meter but this time will vary accordingly according to the activity ensuring the compliance to radiation exposure limits monitoring system area monitoring and I believe that you all know where this is server meter and personal dosimeter and you all are familiar with this um, dosimeters personal monitoring why to ensure dose limit not exceed to 20 millisievert per year for whole body to check doses fulfilled alara provide documentation in case of incident emergency personal dose monitoring RTT working in brachytherapy unit wear pocket dosimeter for instantaneous measurement with OSL pregnant staff are issued an additional OSL badge so report any pregnancy immediately AKU action level is 6 millisievert higher exposure investigated by RPO radiation protection officer report lost or accidental exposed badge immediately and remember pregnant women consider as a public so their annual dose limit is 1 millisievert remember a personal monitor cannot keep you safe only time distance shielding can do that where should I wear and kept my OSL badge it can be worn on the torso chest level or on the forearm or it can be worn uh, at the waist level where should I put after the work in safe place of your office after the work rack or locker don't leave OSL please don't leave OSL on lab coat or vest what happen if I lose a badge immediately inform your supervisor so that they can order state replacement if you have misplaced your badge and then find it in a LINAC simulator or brachy room do not continue to wear it take it to your RPO coordinator for reading you will get a new badge 
from RPO coordinator of the department if monitoring include not just measuring and determining the equivalent dose it also includes health surveillance in accordance with the rules established by the regulatory authority general safety measures this is what you found in all the units door interlock last person out emergency button patient protection interlocks self shielded design of the machine safety sign and labels and these are the labels you could find also think for your fellow men training Advocate information about radiotherapy is essential for all health professionals. Thank you for being patient and listening. This presentation uh, does not uh, include emergency preparedness part. It will be covered on 6th May session. Hope to see you there.